Hello, this is Ronnie. I'm back here with a clip uh, focusing on gold and silver. I cover, however, in the long video that I recorded today for my subscribers, I cover many, many markets, um, some related directly to uh, gold and silver. And then I have a whole section on the stock markets. Yes, now we have very high volatility in these markets uh, in the US, in Europe, in uh, other places. Uh, and also, of course, uh, the Forex uh, market and the bonds. So um, if you want to check, you can see the list uh, in the description to this clip. In addition to that, I want to uh, uh, reintroduce the offer that I had, a uh, special offer for my services um, in honor of uh, Valentine's Day. And we have the President Day coming up also in the US next week. So this offer would run for uh, two weeks, you can see. Um, and that is the correct date. Uh, when I provide uh, more details at the end of this clip, uh, you will see that there is a different date, uh, but please ignore that this is the right date. Um, it's just that I didn't have enough time to record again that very long explanation that you will see at the end of this clip. Um, other than that, if you do have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, I am here to, to help, to answer your questions. Um, I hope you have a great uh, week and um, hope to see you on my website. Bye now. Okay, this is uh, Spot Gold on the weekly scale, price in US dollars, and things are warming up here. Things are warming up for a possible breakout. Yeah. And. Um, we have even the momentum indicating that things are on the side of the uh, bulls. And you can see that uh, we do have a divergence here as the price has not yet run through the previous high on the weekly scale. We do have the momentum actually uh, leading the way. And when it corrected, the momentum simply sagged just a wee bit here. You can see just had a little bit of a pause. Uh, while we had those several weeks of uh, uh, corrective price action. Do you see that? And now the momentum says, yes, there is scope for further upside here. I've discussed uh, the correlation with our Forex bar that we examined and uh, we examined another set of correlations uh, of gold uh, in a few minutes. But uh, right now you can see what it's doing. And let's never lose sight of the fact of what we are trying to do. What we are doing here, we are simply mapping the odds. That's all what we are doing. The, we are not in the business of providing guarantees, uh, sure bets or anything like that, or, you know, perfect forecast or whatever. No, we are here in the business of simply mapping the odds. And the odds definitely improved this past week. Gold has come back, it is showing us that it is strong and we wouldn't be talking about a possible imminent breakout if it was down there. Why? Well, it's very simple. If it's down here, where, where, is, the, where is the urgency? It is urgent, it is possible because it's right there, because it's right next to the edge. That's why the odds flip. Do you see what I'm talking about? If it goes down there, uh, you won't be, be hearing me talking about an imminent breakout, but now it's definitely uh, relevant and uh, it's something that could become a reality within a, a week or two. We will have a breakout above this level and then gold will just take off, take off for months to come. Okay, so now it is a high time we examine from close uh, what's happening. Let's have a look at the daily. Now you remember this stretch here and you remember we took this as a possible first leg. I told you in the last weekend video that that, uh, that could work out as an ABC, but I couldn't uh, be sure because uh, uh, corrections are a tricky thing and they can just go on and on and on. And even now I cannot guarantee that the correction is behind us. What I can say with a fairly high degree of confidence is that we most likely left behind an ABC. We came up. We came up in what can be taken as a sensible uh, five-wave run. This is a uh, diagonal first, ABCDE, 
that gives me one that's two that's three four five okay so that could be our first leg first leg of the third wave right here if you try to visualize that so that will be our first wave okay and now we are simply busy tracing that second wave that's the way I go about it and all that is very nice momentum is on our side of the bulls everything is looking great but we cannot do anything until we get the break we get anything that looks like that over the next several trading days yes gold giving back a bit of the gains going to stabilize above 1340 1336 i would really like to see it not falling uh, uh, below that level okay 1336 just staying above this level and then coming back sharp running above 1360 or the previous spike high that we have seen here and i think it's ready it 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 will it will follow through here with a third wave that could be pretty spectacular any break that continues under 1336 and the market begins to sag like that that's not good that's not good that will call for reassessment of my wave count here we may have to prepare for a testing of the floor here and again it could be that everything that you see here yeah if it comes back all of that could still be part of the second wave yes definitely possible that will not cancel the breakout potential but of course that it will not become imminent um, to the extent that i've described just a few minutes ago yeah we might find ourselves here on the daily coming back and probably resting on this support there's quite a lot of support here do you see that uh resting on this support at uh 1285 or so and then perhaps it will be ready to come back and fly through the roof that is what i have to say currently concerning gold here's silver well i must say that silver as far as the bulls are concerned silver is actually disappointing silver has not really matched up the uh, bullish performance that we have seen in gold it is uh, still looking like it is uh, seeking to go for that uh, um, triangle it's seeking to um, the, the price action is being narrowed down further and further and further and i begin to wonder if we are not dealing here with simply a b do you see what's going on that could be taken as an a is a big a and then an a b c d e somewhere around here ignore the labeling what i have in mind is that this is basically storing energy for eventual breakout it will be a c but overall it will not be terribly uh positive because uh an a b c like that uh would be counter trend move which means that um it is corrective and if i go to the weekly i have already <coughs> sorry I, i've already touched on this in previous videos you see if, if this is an a and what we are doing here is really a b uh silver could go for a really very exciting run could run 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 to to 34 but the the build up here uh, given that it uh, it'll be a clear abc is actually not positive long term because that will mean that uh, silver will come down at some point and perhaps even check the floor here okay it's not like you get a very nice uh, set of uh, abc and then it shoots higher and then you have all the prospects of a possible one two three four and then a build up for a massive five wave run this action price action that you see here is not supportive i'm sorry for those uh, who are keen to see silver flying uh silver could be flying but uh the danger is that that will be in the context of an abc and as i just explained um that could be actually a trap very long term meaning silver will come down let's have a look now at the daily in fact i think we could uh focus on the very short term and you can see <coughs> sorry the advance of the or the first leg what in the case of gold reached almost the top here silver didn't really run very far that's one two three four five a b c fine silver began to run like gold but um 
not not the same thing not the same thing he is the problem uh, you can see how it basically crashed back to this zone so it's ruling out any structure for one two three four the only thing that could still be considered here in terms of a bullish uh, interpretation is that that is perhaps a one two one two if that is the case silver really got to stop falling it's got to go back there and possibly there fairly quickly so that could perhaps work out as a one two one two but i can tell you that it doesn't look like high confidence setup so what do we do well if silver goes back down that means we are going to test the floor and that's not going to be a positive it's not going to be a positive element as far as gold and silver are concerned because they 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 move together and if silver is dragging its feet it means the correction here is not over we might have to uh might have to reconsider uh a bullish um bias yeah immediate bullish bias uh, it could be that we are dealing with an abc that will turn into an x with this being an abc down it goes for a possible another abc that's what i would say and you can see you can see the struggle of silver you can see the uh, resistance here and you can see silver just doesn't make it doesn't make it that will be really very important signal if silver manages to climb back above 17 even yeah and give us if, if we can see a, a close like that and then continuation up then everything will be on the mend it, it will uh, seek higher grounds no, no problem but right now it's being pushed down that's first attempt second attempt and also here it doesn't hold support so the the overall message of this is weak i mean that silver is weak to my website uh, that's wavemastery.com yes www uh dot wave mastery in one word of course uh, dot com you follow on my home page um just a quick run here there are a few articles that i wrote is this website for me psychology and trading trading and the arts why join you might want to have a look yes to run through some of them uh, subscribe here that's where you will find a special promotional offer use subscription that's a tab that uh, essentially uh gets into action once you uh, login it shows you the um, subscription that you are using whether it's a weekend service or daily service resources the tab here opens the option to go down to the chart galleries where the, you will find a lot a lot of charts okay um, some dating from the 1970s 1960s um, some really interesting stuff if you are into learning about charts you have interesting to see interested to see how i applied uh daily waves to past uh, markets um you'll be surprised what sort of markets you're going to find the eggs uh pork bellies um milk <laughs> all sorts of things really fun so you can uh, run through that useful uh, useful links uh uh, just a few things that uh, I had in mind. Uh, it's not really full list. The recommended recommended reading list also very interesting. If you are into uh, uh, reading more about the, the markets, uh, I uh, uh, just uh, mentioned some of the um, very interesting books that I read in the last uh, you know in the last ten years. Uh, you may want to take a look. Private policy terms of use, practically standard stuff. I don't get into the business of checking or selling or uh, merchandising your data. Um, it's really none of my business. Uh, special promotional offer. Uh, this is the same link that you found here under subscribe here. Um, just in case you are more comfortable finding it here, whatever. It, it's right there. It's the same. Contact us. You should use that if you have the slightest question slightest issue in the uh, <coughs> sorry in the process of uh, subscribing in the process of uh, um, whatever question you have uh, whatever is on your mind um, before subscription after subscription whatever okay so that's login uh, simple um, so let's go through the special promotion offer you will see that i am quite generous i open it till uh leave it open till the uh, till next year basically 15th of january uh and it gives you the trial for 9.99 uh, euros 50 percent of the normal price basically for the daily service or the weekend uh for the first calendar year that means for 12 
consecutive months you can pay 79 per month for the daily service instead of 159 um, and you will pay half the price also for the weekend service so the daily video service includes the weekend service you don't have to subscribe to both and uh, one week trial just to see how it is cost you 9.99 okay just uh to see what's going on if it's uh your stuff you're interested in it etc you can cancel any time uh you don't get uh, money back for portion unused but uh you will have access up to the end of that month in which you cancelled okay there's no obligation to stay for 12 months and uh, the VAT issue is mainly applicable to uh, people who come from Europe. And uh, if you come from Europe, please go through the list here, okay? Uh, see which country uh, yeah, uh, relates to you. Uh, if you don't find your country and you come from Europe, it's possible I missed one. Uh, just write to me. I'll see what uh, can be done. Um, other than that, uh, if you come from the UK, USA, Belgium, uh, and the rest of the world, Australia, Asia, whatever, you don't pay. You don't pay a penny VAT. Uh, you just pay 79 per month uh, and you go through the button here. Scrolling down here, uh, that's the Wave Mastery Weekend Video Service. That starts with two weeks trial, priced at $4.99, two weeks because you only get access to, to the weekend videos. And sometimes I put in a, a bonus video uh, in the middle of the week, you know, uh, just to keep you floating. I am putting a... Uh, um an update uh for the weekenders um but it's not every uh week okay uh to be fair um so that that's included you will see uh and um it's 29 per month uh, per month instead of 59 uh and the vat charges again applicable to mainly people who come from europe okay so it's the same thing here and if you come from uk usa belgium um you choose this now you go through the subscription let's select this one for example you go through you click and it takes you to the well sometimes you get this security challenge challenge is no big deal let's run through that that's a r uh, s t hope i got it right paypal puts up these things and it gets you to paypal's page where the description of the offer is there it starts with a trial for 14 days uh 29 for each month for 12 installments okay so every month you will pay, be paying 29 uh and uh, uh you click and you see that it goes to me uh that's my official name okay the name that i use normally in documents etc uh so that that goes to me you log in if you have an account of course that should be uh easy for you again you have security security challenge but you log in you pay and paypal normally brings you back brings you back to my website uh to fill in the subscription form to choose your login your password and uh after that you almost um, um finished you go straight uh to the page uh where you find the links directly to the videos okay if you encounter any issue any problem uh, during this process you need to write to me i'll take care of that um, please fill in all your details that are required in the, the registration form especially if you are from europe i need to know for vat control but also if you're outside europe uh, i need to know the country you know just fill in the required uh, info and uh, let's go back to the website here okay we are back here uh, the same thing applies to all the other buttons you're going to go through the same process now that's it basically if you have um, an interest uh, serious interest in trading i cover uh, a whole range of markets uh, you can ask me uh, direct questions you can ask me questions concerning your positions and i will relate to them in a way that i can um under the law because i'm not uh, licensed to give you personal advice but what i will do uh if you have a position in apple for example you have a position in um, um in the nasdaq in the index or whatever you want my opinion what's going to happen i am simply going to provide you a technical 
uh, analysis of the current position and I would tell you what I would do if it's going to do this or that etc etc and then with this uh, very detailed information then you can follow through you can do you can take your decision okay um, other than that if you come from uh, countries that I don't cover uh, I will be prepared to look into covering the index of that country I cover a lot a lot of markets but of course it's possible that you might come from a country where I don't follow uh, so don't be uh, put off uh, you can ask me I'll see whatever I can do of course I will do um, and um, that's about it so I look forward to see you on my website again don't hesitate shoot any question you have I am based in Belgium so uh, if you write to me from the US or from Australia or from Asia might take me a bit of time to uh, to react uh, but I will I will react I will uh, get back to you and uh, provide you the information that you need okay so wish you the best good trading uh, bye now